Hello, just dropping in to quickly say something before the start of the video. Firstly, um, when I'm browsing through my files and stuff, I've heavily censored them, so they're relatively blurry and hard to make out. That's just because of names and things. I don't want to dox people. And the second thing is that you'll most likely notice that my energy is non-existent for some reason. Before I actually sat down to record, I was there like, yeah, I'm ready to do this. I can do this, but no, apparently not. Um, as soon as I put the mic on, all energy drained out of me and I was like, hi, um... <laughs> Like, for some reason, it was like half of my brain had just stopped functioning or something. I, I don't I don't know. It was like I was going through motions. Um, so there was all I had to cut out a bunch of ums and... I uh, forgot the name, you know. But either way, it's functional. The footage is usable, it's just... I don't know, I was I was listening to it back while editing and I was listening to it like, I sound really tired <laughs> and I don't know why. Um, so yeah, without further ado, you can watch the video if you'd like. Hello everybody, it is I, CrystalFlame360, or if you prefer, just Crystal, and welcome to this small corner of the internet where I just do whatever I feel like, which just so happens to be Sims related things currently. Today's video, as you can see here, is a Sim PE tutorial that shows you how to restore Sims with no character data. This is, however, in a very specific circumstance that I myself encountered a year or two ago, a character getting deleted somehow due to corruption. Before I begin, I will tell you that this does not reverse the potential corruption that the junk data is going to cause. However, it will allow you to play a, play a cherished sim that got deleted somehow. For this tutorial, you will need Sim PE, which I will link in the description below, and a backup of your HUD set before your sim got deleted. If you don't backup regularly, then it isn't the end of the world. You can still do this, you just need to recreate a clone of the sim you want and place them in your hood of choice. It's easy if you made the sim in body shop originally, but still, you can still pull it off. Aspiration and personality doesn't matter in my experience as it's linked to the hood and sim ID. The purpose of the clone is to get references to the physical attributes back such as facial structure and DNA and things like that. Back up your hood and then we can begin. As in my case, I am restoring a sim based on a backed up version of them. I'm going to open the backup HUD in Sim PE and find the sim who had lost their data. You can do this by opening your file explorer and just finding wherever your backup is. Um, I don't really think about which sim I was going to restore. Um, Maybe Jill Smith. <laughs> Let's see if I can restore Johnny's sister, like the Plague Town version. So with the hood loaded, I can go and find who I'm intending to restore here. Because I'm doing this in Plague Town yet again. This is more experimental Mayan since I haven't done this before in Plague Town, but I have done this with another sim. This might be Jill. Yeah, it's that old, old of a backup of this hood. She does not have my default replacement of the pigtail hair, so that's how old this backup is. Um, anyway though, so then we go into the More tab and then we open the character file. Then we just click on the resource list, so I, I just click on anything in the resource list and just hold control and A, which should select everything. Then I right click and click extract. Now it takes you to a browsing, a browsing, a browsing folder here, where what I just usually do is that 
I go on to into the documents and I make a new folder within my own collector folder on this computer because it's shared and I just name it something like data so I know I'm gonna click into here into here actually let me just click okay and then it should have extracted 62 files we don't need this anymore and I think I can just close it so let me go to this here and we, there's files that we don't particularly need here so we don't need the package file, the version information, directory of compressed files, catalogue description, the JPEG image or PNG, um, JPEG tag, um, functions and data. We don't need these so we can just remove them. Now, we open the neighbourhood here, I almost did the keyboard shortcut version. Um, now we open the neighbourhood and I'm going, to, I'm going to try and see if I can restore her in Plague Town. I've realised my game file isn't in the actual in-game thing. Because um, I have two separate games. <laughs> I'll find my Plague Town in a minute. There we go. <coughs> But either way, you basically did what I just did then. I just realised that um, my sister's game is actually in the in the thing. Because like I said, Plague Town was called Throwaway Test Hood originally. Now we just find the same question we want to restore. Lot of junk data, Jesus. <laughs> so, oh, it's Jill. Okay, I think that's the Jill. Because of this Jill and there's that Jill, right? It's this Jill. It's this Jill, okay. So, first things first, the blue background means she's unlinked. So, what we're going to have to do first is go into other. And where it says unlinked, we change the one to a zero. We commit, then we save, then we play the waiting game. <laughs> once that's done, we can just click off of it, and then once we click back onto her, you'll see the changes have registered here. And the red background means no character data. Um, in basically, she's incomplete. We go into more, open her character file and you'll see the files removed already exist which was why they were removed they weren't needed so what we do now is we right click then we go on to add go into the data and now they're all kind of split like this so what i like is that i usually just select them all like that and then click open and it plunks them all in and you do that with all of them. Is it a bit tedious? Admittedly, yes, but. And then when that's done, we simply just save. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Now we go into, if I can find it, Her object data, I forgot the name of it. We go into her object data and it'll say object type unknown. We simply change that to a vehicle. I'm joking, it's a person, it's a person. I was pulling your leg. It's a person. Change it to a person. And then... I think seems enough here since I'm not seeing a commit. Now we should...
yeah so she has she has a grey background now so she has data again so I guess we could go in game Lake down. Anyway, so there is a designated orphanage here that I might just plonk Jill. Um, oh, there it is though. Oh, it's this. I don't know what that is though. Strange. Um, yeah, I'll explain this in more detail um, during the obligatory Plague Town tour video, which I am totally not planning at some point. Um, all you need to know that this is like um, a local orphanage where certain kids without parents are just put there. Um, should I drop the plot twist about the toddler she's holding? Uh, it may be obvious when you look at the toddler and the um, household boots up, but she's actually the daughter of Paige and Fakora. Um, I, I, I had a bit too much fun with the Sim Blender. <laughs> but family ties are cut though because um, I kind of wanted that kind of stuff. I kind of wanted that kind of. That makes sense. Um, I wanted that sort of storyline, but it's obvious when you look at her, um, when you look at her that she's got the core within her, it's obvious. But yeah, so I'm going to see if we can load in Jill, though I think she's still in the default bin. There she is. That should be Jill. Oh, there she is. <coughs> So, we'll disable the summon menu again, and we'll add her to- nope. Then we'll move her in, and then we can just kind of observe. So her age is preserved. Um, she doesn't know Johnny anymore though. Yeah, that's what I meant by the, the fractured family ties. Um, that I mentioned in I think part um was it part three of Plague Town? But either way, Paul no longer exists. Um Neither does Vidkund. What the fuck? Is Vidkund gone? <laughs> What happened to Vidkund? Did I do anything to Vidkund? That's weird. I was looking at that, I was like, someone's missing. <laughs> oh yeah, that's Venus, and she was a child. Anyway, I'm gonna sidetrack down memory lane here. But yeah, she just doesn't have a relationship to Johnny anymore, which I guess makes sense, considering. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If um, you like it, like it. If you want to see more of what I do, you can subscribe. I felt like I really lacked a lot of energy this time around. Don't know why. But yeah, hope to see you next time.